Ajian, J. Ong Lei, Clark, Mike, Clark, Mitchell, Clear, Ian. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you for coming. Uh, topic box, yum yum, chong chai, m. Late Tai Ni. Tong to the purpose of life. And Kim Ajim Nong Jung topic box, yum ta, discover your purpose of living. Let me yum, chong chai, m. Late, Rini Puta, Chibut. We are mean that you are being a means that some kind of that day. But tie, thôi mấy ao miên làm khăn, mẹ chỉ vật dưng thì mẹ đặt ở tây, xem xong lơ, chìm nói môi môi, mà chạy chìm lé thay, chìm nói chìm môi nó cứ xem trăng vậy tha. I score luôn này, phải bóng phôn audience already know know yourself, but how much you know yourself? What I means knowing yourself is knowing your background, where you come from, what your family value. Yung mau pina, pun bo yung nyat na, okay. The P, where you at? Where you stand? Where you right now? What you doing? How much education you have? How much you have done for your community? Third, know your future. You know you know your purpose. Where you want to go? What you want to do? Who you want to become? If you don't know where you're going, very simple, my friends, you will get lost. Right? That's such purpose. So, very important. Get to know yourself is know where you come from, where you stand right now, and where you want to be in the future. Right? Knowing all this, every day you should not allow, allow yourself not knowing anything, learning, learning new things. By you have to add value to yourself every day. What I mean, add value to yourself every day, means that every day you wake up, you have to invest more knowledge, more skills. Read more books, associate with successful people, good people. Do whatever it takes to take yourself to the next level. Especially for young audience, don't waste your time playing Facebook. Facebook starts with letter F, right? What do you know F stand for? No, don't laugh. It also stands for failure. Too much Facebook leads you to failure. It's no good. Don't play Facebook. Use Facebook. It's different. If you play Facebook two, three hours a day, yes. You're on your way to failure. It's not good. But if you play Facebook, Facebook also stands for future. Right? Connect with good people. Learn a lot of good sources on Facebook that can take you to the next level. Okay? It's two different meanings playing Facebook and using Facebook. Okay. Number two. I heard someone say that, uh, oh, Bill Gates, actually. I like this quote. Everyone knows Bill Gates, right? Uh, he said that when you were born poor, it's not your fault. But if you die poor, it's your, it's your fault. So learn to build your future. If you don't build your own future, someone else is going to hire you to build their futures. Why? In a company, just say it's, 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 it's a medium company in Cambodia, someone makes just $200 a month, while someone else, the same company, make $1,000 a month. Why? So, my friends, I want to remind you that success is not an accident, it's preparation. So, in order to have good, at, uh, in order to have good futures, you have to first seek education. No education, no future. The survey shows, and myself experienced that people have, you know, well educated, always have good job, or own a company. Most, not 100%, but in most cases, right? So, the choice is yours. You want to work somebody, or you want somebody to work for you. The choice was very clear, but education. Here, 
we all value education, right? I agree that education is very important and it's the key to building a future. But one more thing I want to share with you all that one thing that more valuable than education is your character. Besides my hometown, I touch it up. I value education all my life. I love learning new things. I love education. I value education very much. But one thing I value more than my education is my character. And you too should do the same. Here's what I believe. Education, experience, knowledge, talents can take you or give you a good job. But only good character can keep that good job for you or can take you to the next level. If you have poor character, or you can't get a good job, but it won't last long. Right? It won't last long. If you just say, like, you are a managing director of a company, but you have poor character, your mouth, you dominate, you abuse power, you harsh word, and you're responsible for your job, don't hold yourself accountable. So it won't last long. So the company will fire you. They will replace you with the person who had the same level of education, a better character. So character is the destiny, my friends. Right? Okay. After you know yourself, you add value to yourself, you build your own future, so now life is good. Not bad, $5,000 a month. What else you ask for? Right? Don't be too greedy. This is just decent. It's good. It's good. Life is good. Good job, good pay, good family, good house, nice car, nice clothes, and travel around the world. Life is good. But don't forget those people around you. Don't ever forget. Right? Life is nothing if you just live for yourself or just your own value. It means nothing. Here. To make your life meaningful is to add value to other people. Have other people that they cannot do things for themselves. And have other people without expecting anything in return. It's called meaning of life. Right? Here, how you add value to yourself? Like I said, contribute. If you have money, donate. Your skills, share with young people, young generation. Right? Make time. So many things. Donate your blood. Volunteer, community service, so many things that you can make a difference around you. Right. So my friends, most of you, I don't know you personally, but I know you one thing, one good thing about you. You have so many things in you to give. Right. You have great in within you. I don't say this to make you happy, but I, I do believe that as a human being, it's not an accident also. But I put such now when I mean, I mean, I'm not going to be a clay team. I mean, I'm not going to be a clay team. I mean, I'm not going to be a clay team. I mean, I'm not going to be a clay team. I mean, I'm not going to be a clay team. I mean, I'm not going to be a clay team. I mean, I'm not going to be a clay team. I mean, I'm not going to be a clay team. I mean, I'm not going to be a clay team. You are the strongest. When man man can't go, can not achieve, can't play, but die. We compete with all the 400 million spoons. Right. So you're the strongest. So you're the best. I want to remind you that whatever you do, always, always, always do your best. If you don't do your best, don't do it at all. It's not you. Don't cut corners. Success. Require discipline, detail, accountability. I said one more time, success is not an accident, right? Always, always, always do your best. If you don't do your best, don't do it at all. It's not you. Remind yourself that. Right? When you come to work, don't just say like, oh, I have to come to work. You know, I want to remind you really to always do your best. Right? No one forced you to come to work. You are the one that accept the job. No one forced you to come to work. For example, if you 
thing. Your education, your skills, your experience, you know, you deserve that job, that position, that they hire you $1,000 a month. You, you ask for your desire to, to uh, take $1,000 a month, but the company only can offer you only 60% of what you ask for, $600 a month, right? Still always give your best, my friends. Don't hold 40% because it doesn't meet your requirement or your desire. That company, I believe, doesn't force you or won't force you to take it, take it. It's the only thing I can offer you. You, don't, you know, if you don't come to work, I will file a lawsuit against you. You know, no such company do that. You accept the job. Always, always give your best. When you go to work, put money behind you. Put your value ahead of money. Right. Always give your best money via follow. You're going to work because you want to see your friend, you want to see your boss, you want to see your co-worker. You want to serve custom. Right. Make a difference. All right. Let me change about you what if. Go direct to our topic. If I ask you, for example, if you person, just name, I throw some name out, just say your name, Peter, I don't know, just come up with Peter. Peter, if I, I go ask your mom, what kind of son is Peter? Always ask your neighbor, hey neighbor, uh, Peter, my name is Peter. And uh, or I ask your co-worker or your boss, how is Peter doing his job? What do you want to be known? What do you want to be told? I bet if you want, want to be good worker, good son, good friends, right? Good neighbor. But you can all say you want, but it doesn't come out that way. It's people will tell you how you treat them, how you behave. It's not what you want to be known. It's your action will speak for you. If you treat people with love and respect, they will talk nice things about you, right? Very, very important. Anyway, we all know this. I just remind everyone here, money is good. I love money, everyone loves money, but money is not everything, right? Just remind you, money is not everything. Character is everything. I want to remind you that <coughs> everyone in this world <coughs> has a problem. Doctor has a problem, millionaire has a problem, teacher has a problem, Buddhist monk has a problem, cleaner has a problem, high ranking in the government has a problem, CEO has a problem, everyone has a problem. Even my own has a problem, right? So since you know everyone has a problem, when you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, do not add problem to other people. They have enough problem on their own already. They don't need an additional problem from you. Okay. Tell yourself every morning when you wake up, you are not a problem maker. You are a problem solver. You hear me? Tell yourself that your family is a happy family because you bring happiness to your family. You don't give trouble to your family. Tell yourself that your neighbor or your community is a better community because you belong to the community. Tell yourself that the workplace is a better workplace environment. You create a, uh, a good environment at the workplace because you belong to that organization. You bring your skills, your knowledge, you make a difference. Right. And what else you ask for? And the meaning of life is to add value to other people. Do not add them to other people. Give money if you have it. If you don't, it, make time. And in the end, my friends, I want to remember that your home needs you. Your workplace needs you. Your community needs you. But <clears throat> they need you only you can bring up good value. 
right? They need you when you make a difference. But when you don't make a difference, they don't need you when you get trouble, right? Anyway, my friends, thank you for your attention. Remind yourself that your family is a better home because you belong to that home. Your workplace is a better company because you work there. Your community is a better place because you uh, contribute. And Cambodia is a better place because you are here. Thank you very much. <laughs>